From Reeve to Ralph, Cavill to Hecklin, whoever is your favourite, Superman suit reveals are always a memorable moment in pop culture history. And with James Gunn's Superman currently in production, it's time for the next Superman to don the red cape, David Sweat. Join me as I do a deep dive analysis of the new suit from head to toe, literally. And be sure to like this video for more Superman content. You're watching Matthew Rogers. Let's start with the man wearing the suit, David Sweat himself. Ever since I saw him show up in Netflix's The Politician, I've said that man looks like Clark Kent. And it turns out I wasn't the only one that thought that, as he was chosen in fan casting really for years to follow. But in June 2023, dream castings came true as he was cast by DC officially, shortly after Henry Cavill's controversial firing from playing the Man of Steel, but not before his embarrassing cameo that amounted to nothing in Black Adam. Zack Snyder fans had and continue to have a loud voice when it comes to replacing Cavill. Personally, I liked Cavill's performance, however they didn't give him the movies that he deserved, which resulted in ruining Cavill's Superman and Snyder's Justice League as a whole. Now DC has the perfect opportunity to reignite well overdue interest in its hero franchises, whilst Marvel is weakening, by doing a complete hero overhaul, which is exactly what they're doing. And as they should, DC is having Superman be the flagship hero and movie to fly in and save the day. And in our first look, we see him in assumedly his city apartment, which looks over Metropolis, putting on his suit to face whatever is happening out that window. This first image definitely gives us a more relaxed take on our hero as we're usually given action shots for suit reveals. But I like to think this is telling of a more intimate look at the mild-mannered Clark than Cavill who is more high and mighty. Now I promised a head-to-toe analysis so let's get into the details. Superman's hair is at its best when there's a singular S-shaped curl on his forehead and it looks like that's exactly what we've got here. One tradition I am very grateful for them continuing. When filming first started, director James Gunn said the new suit would be inspired by the art of Alex Ross. Great news for any comic fans as Ross's realistic style is renowned across many major comic franchises. Once the crest was revealed on Superman's birthday this year, it was apparent they had used the style of Alex Ross's Kingdom Come Superman, a more minimal and arguably modern approach to the iconic branding, this time with the classic red for the S and yellow for the background and border. The suit itself is collared, which seems to be a new trend as we have recently seen this addition to Pattinson's new Batman suit, with I want to say Kryptonian linings, like we saw in the Man of Steel movie, to highlight the upper torso and joints. Unfortunately, we likely won't be getting one of his iconic lines when speaking about his suit. Thanks. Cool costume. Thanks. My mom made it for me. As it's apparent that Mark Kent didn't make this modern textured looking costume, which is a bit sad. Speaking of being custom made though, I do have concerns of it not being fit correctly across the shoulders as those folds are quite prominent. Yes, it makes it look more real rather than CGI, which of course is a good thing, but I don't know, it doesn't have that perfectly fitting fabric look that I would prefer. Superman doesn't need a modern alien aesthetic. Which brings me to the colours. For some reason so many of the comments online are looking for a literally and figuratively darker Superman, but when James Gunn told us that he was going for a more comic based Superman, that really got my hopes up as a colourful campy boy scout is exactly how to play this. The fake leaks may have probably been too far in this direction, but my first impressions of the actual suit was like Cavill's suit, too dark in colour tones. But Snyder fans are saying even this is too bright? I don't get it. I think they could have pushed it even further. A full reboot should be a full redesign, so I'm leaning a lot more towards the fan edits showing a closer vision to what I had expected, a more sun-soaked aesthetic. But I am withholding my final judgement until we see how the movie's lit and colour graded, as Gunn has confirmed this image was taken in camera. Next up is the cape, which looks similar to Cavill's in length, colour and fabric. Since I was younger I've always been a fan of the comically oversized capes, capes that wouldn't make sense in a live action medium, but after reading All Star Superman I was kind of hoping for the opposite, a shorter style cape which could also be more faithful to the comic style. 
All this to say, we can't yet comment on where the cape is cut off until we see a full body shot of him standing. The cape could be cropped at the top of the boots like Ralph's suit or even have a bright yellow S on it like Reeves for all we know. That would be a nice callback. Although they can't be seen clearly, they have brought back Superman's trademark red trunks, his underwear on the outside if you will, which have been a distinctive addition to his costume since his creation in 1938. Originally intended to evoke the strongman circus performers of the era, the trunks became an iconic symbol of the hero's iconic look. While the inclusion and exclusion of trunks has varied in different adaptations and despite occasional debates over their aesthetic relevance, the trunks continue to evoke nostalgia and serve as a visual link to Superman's rich comic book history. Here it's hard to identify if the trunks are long or short, the exact colour of the belt or even the style of its buckle, but their inclusion is appreciated nonetheless. Superman's boots are another essential component of his iconic costume. Typically depicted as knee-high red boots with a cutout at the front, they provide both protection and style. Here we see the continuation of the Kryptonian lining to match the suit, and I probably would have preferred just flat red boots, but I'm just grateful they are keeping the bright classic style, a great punctuation to the whole ensemble. Something that I haven't seen mentioned is this is likely not the only suit we're going to get from this new DC universe. Even just to use Cavill as an example, we got multiple suits for him alone, representing different points in the character arc. So if you ask me, this is just the beginning, the second dawn of justice if you will. The movie previously known as Superman Legacy and now just Superman will be released on July 11th, 2025. But what do you think of the new super suit? Let me know. Until next time, you can keep up with what I'm watching by following me on TikTok, X, and Letterboxd, which are all linked in the description. But for now, this is Matt Rogers, and that is all.